Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In the last episode, we got a lot done, even though we only did one side quest, but a lot of extraneous things done. I still have a pretty bad cough, and I still have these remnants of that cold from before, and it's very annoying, especially for a YouTuber such as myself. Uh, but we'll move along. We're going to do some other side quests. Let's make sure that our... Yeah, we have no active quests. Huh? Oh. Oh, I forgot we had this. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I forgot that we had that one. Well, let's do this one then. Um, Alright, I just want to show you that my goal for leveling up is going to be basically uh, to get our blade up. Why is blade 100 now? Wasn't it like 90 before? What the hell? Oh, because we equipped the ring of war. That's why. So does this mean it's not going to increase? That's what I don't know. If you, if you like, supplement your skills over 100, does that mean it's not going to increase anymore? No, because this is 111. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be using Blade from now on. Our goal is to increase our skills to get this up to the next level, at which point we can maximize Marksman. We can train five levels of Marksman. So the best way to do that that I can see is... Athletics is a lost cause. I guess Athletics is, is bad to take as a major skill since, it's, uh, since it... Increases so incredibly slowly. Blade is going to be good, but we're going to have to slash basically a billion things. Security will... I guess we'll just have to take off the skeleton key and actual and actually, like, level it up. Right? Master, master. Expert. Master, master, ma uh, expert. So this... Yeah, okay. And then journeyman. Yeah, the only things that we can really use to level up are blade and marksman and security but why does it say god the skills in oblivion are so confusing okay anyways let's just do this quest. We'll, we'll be using blade for a while is the point apparently there's a corrupt imperial watchman in the city ruslan in the temple district was complaining about him ruslan ruslan ran afoul of him at jensen's merchandise in the market district ruslan didn't have a name but maybe jensen does let's go talk to our good friend jensen who gives us a very big discount is it yet again not jesus christ every time man every time it'd be nice to head to the market district but you know what it is you know what it is it's that it's that you don't recognize when you actually arrive at a good time you know it's probably 50 50 we get here sometimes when like everybody's out and about and then you know the other half of the time uh we have to wait but you recognize the bad times, and that's a bad habit to get into, right? Be positive. See anything you like? Oh, yeah, I do, with that disgustingly weird face with all this awful complexion. Um, do you know anything about the corrupt Imperial Watchman? Who told you that? Um, two of your customers, actually. Rustlin and Laronk, those idiots don't know when to stay quiet. Look, I'm not telling you anything, stranger. I don't trust you. Bitch, do you not remember the quest that I did for you? Who told you? Just a guess. I don't know what you're talking. See anything you like? Not now. Go ahead. Okay, see, somebody said, yeah, I, I, when I was talking about the wheel recently, somebody was like... Oh, you can hover over each one to see what... Yes, I know. But what I meant was before you start it, I wish you could hover over and then just have a game plan. I suppose that would make it too easy. Of course, I know when you start it, yeah, you hover over. I mean, that's, that's the only way to do it. Uh, we'll try it a couple of times. Um, yeah, and I just won't talk. Don't try to manipulate me. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. Well done. You think that's funny? Whatever you want. You think that's fun? Remark. Not now, not later, not ever. Not now, not later, not ever. Okay. Um, that was not too bad. Who told you? Rustlin. Go ahead. Thanks. Every little bit helps. What can I do? He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. Only another watch captain can arrest him. Fat chance of that happening. If you're an alchemist... Okay. 
It's been a pleasure doing business. Yeah, well, not with you, because you literally made me bribe you. So, yeah, not not really. I spoke to Jensine in the Imperial Market District about the corrupt Watchmen. She told me the same story as Ruslan and Laroc. The Imperial Watch Captain Audens of Vidius is extorting money from the shopkeepers. They're all too afraid of him to do anything about it. If I need to find someone with the authority to stop him. She says only another Watch Captain would be able to arrest him. It looks like we don't have a quest marker, which is going to make things what is a bit challenging. Uh, since we're here, might as well get our stuff repaired. I hope I can. If I can't fix it. Ooh, wait, 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 wait! All this stuff needs to be repaired. Take care. Okay, what did I put this on? Number seven. Yep. And still no armor upgrade. Come on, man. Welcome to a fight. Let me take a. Look. Man, we really haven't taken Farewell. a hit since we repaired our stuff last time. I guess so, because we did this semi-recently. A pleasure to speak. Have a look at my wares. Okay, I'm sure let's unload some of this. You. Daedric bow, see ya. Um, and then I think we just have the glass set, and then we'll be good. That's a, that's a good deal. Let's get rid of these. And the random assortment. You drive a hard bargain. I need to save most of these things, though. Painted troll fat, see ya. An excellent bargain. What? Yeah, that was why. That was weird. In the last episode, there was two stacks of vampire dust, and I suppose. Okay, we'll save the cure disease. Flame touch, see ya. That's a fit. Very hard lock. Nope. Rebuke undead. Nope. Summon lich tome. That's nope. a fair deal. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that. Damn it. And that. Oh well. I'm okay, how much money do we have right now? Almost a hundred and ninety thousand. Definitely want to break two hundred thousand. That would feel very successful. Okay, um, well, I'm not sure. Maybe we talk to a guard? We're here to help. Corrupt Imperial Watchman? If you've got a complaint, tell it to the watch captain. I've got better things to do than listen to you whine. Where can I find a watch captain? Go see Servadius Quintilius. He's new, and might be stupid enough to try and do something about it. Thank you very much. That was easy. Good day. Now, where is this fella? Imperial Temple? Di oh, he's in the middle part where the, all the guard... That's the thing that I that I still don't know to this very day is like... Looks looks like, like are there the guard bear? Like, see that corner right there. Are those in every single part of the town? And are they different? Or are they just sort of copied and pasted? Because it seems like there would be a lot. It, citizen? Like this right here. The South Watch Tower. Maybe there's only four. South, north, South, East, and West. You have... Yes? Hi there. I've only recently been promoted. I'm not going to cause trouble by filing charges against one of the other watch captains. You could try taking a problem to Edius Hain. Maybe he'll be willing to risk his career by arresting Audens. Man, after watching The Wire, everything he just said is basically just kind of how the whole entire police system works, at least according to The Wire. Good luck with Edius. Thank you. And where is Edius? See, there's another one. Yeah, see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like there's six total towers, and I'm just wondering. It seems like that would take forever to program, so I'm wondering if they. My children are starving. Please. Some of you thought I was gonna do it, didn't you? Yeah, some of you thought I would just have the impulse to murder a poor beggar on the street. You guys are sick. You sicken me. Huh? What the hell? Where's this telling me to go? Oh, he's in a tap. The foaming flask? Now that's a place I never ever go to. Can I help you, citizen? That you can. Why should I trust your word? You'll have to do better than this to persuade me to take action against one of the other watch captains. Ugh. Well, I can do that. All right. So yeah, I wish it would let you, you know, let you uh, hover over these from the start. So can we rotate the wheel? We what oh a shoot, thoughtful gift. Yeah, we can rotate. Okay, so he loves that shit. No, you do me too much. I know. Honor. Go ahead. Come on. He hates that, and he's good with that. Okay, let's rotate it. You should. Be Is that so? That was. That's very good. good. Why should? Okay, we can do it one more time and get a point. Take your time. 
will be good. See, I, I, I've always, I've already forgotten what he likes and hates, and that's my problem. That's why I suck at this. Okay, hey, uh, hey, okay, rotate, boom, you should. boom, goodness, um, what can I say? Yeah, shut up. Which one do you like? Uh, 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 uh that one, and uh, then that one. I wish I could say that. These are very serious charges. We did it. If you can get two witnesses to testify against Alton Zavidius, I'll arrest him. Otherwise, I can't help you. Okay, I could probably do that. A short stay in our lovely Imperial prison should cool your enthusiasm for a life of crime. The dr Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, so we need to get two witnesses, and we've got a lot of people to talk to. Let's start with the two fellas. Uh, it seems like Jen Scene doesn't want any part to do with this, and I'm not sure you have my who we can actually convince. Now, where are these people, actually? There's somebody directly ahead. Perhaps in a house. You've got a real bounce to your Ruslin. Howdy. I've heard that you've been asking around about that corrupt guard. Just don't mention my name. I have enough problems. Yeah, about that. You want me to testify against Arden Zavidius? You're crazy. Exactly how do you intend to persuade me to do that? Probably with money and, and bribery. Yes. Let's do this again. Okay. Um, again, we got to do it fast. And I just got to remember which ones they really like and really hate. Really hate that one. Really like that one. Uh, I don't know where to go. That, that. I accept. I have no choice. Okay. This one then. No. Uh, uh, rotate. Boom. Boom. Not. Boom. Sure. That's cute. That didn't do anything, basically. Boom. Don't talk such rot. And then he... 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 Okay. Rotate. That didn't do anything. I don't know why I did that. But then that, 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 yeah. that. Don't, please. I'm sorry. That worked a bit. You're good. You want me to test? All right. I'll, I'll take that. And thank you very much. You've convinced me. If I don't stand up to him, who will? I just hope I'm not committing suicide. Probably are, pal. Fintius has the. Okay, that's one down. Take my advice. Can we get all three? That would be cool. See, that's, that's one of the things I don't like about Oblivion. It, it, they just don't have too many options when it comes to quests. But it would be really cool if you could convince um, two people, and then a lot of people are just going to say, okay, that's good enough. But then if you can, you can uh, if you convince three, it turn, like the quest turns out better. You know what I mean? I don't think that's how this is, though. I think if we can convince Jensen. See anything you like? Oh, I always do. You want me to publicly accuse Auden's Avidius of corruption? I'd sooner swim naked in a pool filled with slaughterfish and mud crabs. I mean, I can arrange that. Okay, so yeah, as I figured, she's she literally won't do it. You can't even persuade her to do it. It's been a See, it's such a missed opportunity. If this were a Fallout game, they would give you the option to persuade all three, you know? And that'd be cool. What is it, citizen? Okay, we got the other guy. I think it was an orc, right? These days, I get nervous whenever I see a watchman. Maybe I'll just stay inside. Or maybe you'll testify and help me. I'm not even gonna ask him because I know him. Well, okay. Testify against a watch captain? Hey, what do you know? Go ahead. Okay, what do you like and what do you hate? <laughs> I'm at a disadvantage here because No more. You're frightening me. Okay, and he hates that. Uh, and he likes that, though. What a great story. Let's do that. You think that's funny? And then that. Don't waste your flattery on me. I don't talk such rot. Uh, what do you... Okay, good. That's just not funny. Rotate. Boom. Don't. Boom. Really? Interesting. Testify. Oh, we'll see. I appreciate the just... This may be the stupidest thing I've ever done. But I'll testify against Auden Zavidius. I suppose someone has to stand up to him. Samuel B Take my advice. Stay away from the Watchman. I've convinced both Bruslin and Laronk to testify against Auden's Avidius. I hope Idius Hain is true to his word and arrests his fellow Watch Captain. Otherwise, those two are going to be in a lot of trouble. I can keep an eye out on those two and make sure they uh, they go to see Idius first thing in the morning. Is that what it wants me to do? Like, we have to wait? I hope that we're not about to destroy this quest by going directly to the dude. I really hope not, but I'm going to go to where it's telling me to go. 
But it sounds like it wants me to wait until the morning. Uh, and hopefully they make it. I I'm not sure how this is going to work here. Okay, so he's out and about. There he is. Let's just try talking to him. Can I help you, citizen? Okay, it won't let me do it. Let's wait, um, I guess, just uh, 24 hours. It says morning, but that makes me think that we'll have to wait an entire day to have them all sort of reset. And yeah, I'm kind of anxious here because I don't know... Ah, I'm stretching! Ah. I don't know if they want me to literally follow them and protect them. Which, as you all know, I absolutely hate doing, protecting NPCs in Oblivion. It's like the hardest thing ever, basically. Auden Zavidius has been arrested. That should make Jensine, Ruzlan, and Laronk happy. Hopefully it will serve as a lesson for any other guard that is thinking about shaking down innocent citizens. And that's it. Or is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, that is actually it, though. Um, let's go ahead and just get started on another quest. I, a lot. Okay, I... Yeah, I, I, uh, man, we're really knocking these down. We, we did, we do not have as many quests left as I thought we were going to have. There is one in Bruma, though. Just because we've completed a lot, I guess, during our playthrough. Okay, we're looking for a specific house. Um, or, you know what, we can try it the normal way. Although, I just, as you guys have seen, have not been having luck whatsoever in sort of getting rumors to pop quests, you know? Which sucks, man. Like, they should have written something in the in the coding that would make Greetings. it the priority. I heard that you helped the guard close. Okay, rumors. Hey, you're the one they call. See, they always talk about that. Hey. It's like I don't need hey, to know about that. Make the priority giving me the quest. Plenty of mineral deposits in the. Okay, thanks, man. Farewell, Balin. <laughs> oh, Balin. I loved you, old man. I loved you. But I couldn't protect you. Oh, Balin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was that feels like a lifetime ago. What can I do for you today? I need a rumor, pal. Hey, you're the No, yes, I'm the one they call uh The Countess is Heartland Nibania. Jesus. Okay. Good so yeah, it, it sucks, but I'm just gonna go directly to the source. Uh we're looking for a certain house. See if I can remember its name. I don't think it's any of those. It was like an elven sounding name. This one. Now hopefully we haven't done this quest. A lot of the Oblivion quests sort of sound similar when you're trying to narrow the ones down that you have or have not done. I don't think we've done this one. Let's see. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynal Dralis, will be allowed access. Oh, yeah? A culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. So much persuasion in these past couple of episodes, my god. We'll see. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, loves admire and hates joke. Loves admire and hates joke. Um, so I'm already wasting too much time. Uh, I just my brain just short circuits. I'm not sure what to do. Let's just do not that. Funny. Do that. No, you do me too much on. Remarkable. Loves admire hates joke. So we'll rotate it. Boom. Get a boom. Goodness. What can I say? Which one do you not like? Um, okay, then that, and then that. Really? Interesting. I'll take that. Oh, You're God. good. A culprit in this crime. I tell... Tell me more. See? Was... I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. But let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. 
He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Brayden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. Because he wasn't, you dumbasses. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Brayden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you, so you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. Wow, he's not spotted at night? That's your evidence? Damn, dude, what a great case you've got. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Okay, sorry. <coughs> I had heard some weird noises outside of my <coughs> door. And it was my cats who had ripped off the uh, front of my guitar stand, the sort of little rubber piece that holds the guitar in at the top. And they just ripped it off and were chewing on it. Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, me neither. Please. Please. I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. I believe you. Please calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Tell me what happened. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my Braden dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Draylus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Brayden was a vampire. The evidence looks bad for Brayden. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look... There isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Hey. Yes, I am the one that they call Hero of Kvach. I know I sound desperate, but the I Hero know of Kvach. I'm Jesus right. Christ. Okay. So we got a pretty interesting quest here. A Brotherhood Betrayed. Brayden's wife, Erlene, told me that her husband is innocent. She says that he simply works at night and sleeps during the day. She also suspects that someone must have planted the body. She seemed to cast a suspicious light on Raynil, whom she says she's, she recognizes. I think I should locate Raynil and ask him some questions as well. I should start with some of the merchants and innkeepers in town. Here's Brayden. Repeated tampering with Brayden's corpse is a crime and will alert the authorities. I can't even do it when, like, sneaking around? Will they not let me go down here either? Brayden Lyrian's basement. Murdered beggar. And I suppose there's nothing that, that we'll be able to find here. Thief of virtue. Handbill. Okay. Oh, you're back. Let's go find this uh, Lyrian fella. We're looking for a tavern first and foremost. Is this a tavern? Oh, Olaf's ta tap and tap. Of course it is. Greeting. What can I do for you today? God, you have a red nose. 
I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. When I heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Rainil is staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Wow, thank you very you much. Do not belong in here. What? Who just said that? Okay, Raynal's room key, and apparently he's here right now. I've entered Raynal's room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious. Okay, let's get some privacy. Got some drawers here. And Gelleborn's journal. Um, I, I hate how they give you this update uh, at the start because, like, I want to just read it, and I'm not sure if we should read the... The synopsis first. I discovered a small journal in Raynal's room at the inn. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from some alien ruins. They all agreed to stash the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest it was secured in. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gelleborn. I need to find out more about Gelleborn to confirm my suspicions about Raynal. Olav may be able to, able to help. And it is a very long journal, so we're just going to take that. Okay, I, I, actually though, I will bring it up if you guys do want to read it. Uh, pause the screen, I'm going to go through this rather quickly. And there we are. Okay, shout out to everybody that actually pauses the screen and reads. <laughs> So that doesn't feel useless to do that. What can I do for you today? I need to know where Gelleborn is. Gelleborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelleborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishment. And nothing else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Okay, now this particular quest look for me if you need a topic has been done in a lot of forms of media. I know there's a Simpsons episode that's similar where like all these old people, I think it's um, Homer's dad, what's his name, Abe Simpson? has a, um, the, everybody has a key or something. Also in Fallout 3, there's this sort of quest too with the ghoul, right? I think, uh, yeah, Mr. Crowley, right? And then we've got this one. Hello. So, any new revelations in your, mm, investigation? I'm sure Erlene is very upset. She'll be safe, though. Rainil has confirmed with us that she isn't infected. Oh, thank God. Her accusations that Rainil is lying is not surprising. At this point, she's so upset that she'll say anything to deny what really happened. That's not what's going I on here. I suppose if I found out a loved one was something as horrid as a vampire, I'd find any excuse not to believe it either. You are bad at your job. How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. I disagree. What do you mean, you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? What proof do you have that he was? I have Gelleborn's journal. I... I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. 
I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. Okay, remember, you suck Hello. at your job. Okay, ladies and gents, we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll get to, uh, uh, to the bottom of this and continue on with some side quests. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to see more of me, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. And there's other links below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me again. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching this video. If you click my head, you will subscribe to this channel. And to the right of that is a link to some merch. It'll support me and you'll get some cool stuff. And then over to the far right are some more videos that you guys can watch. Uh, thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.